What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to 3 out 3 Streets. This is Brandon Truga and today, like I said, we're doing the brake pads on a Nismo Juke. Uh, I did the reel already. Those are done. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Um, so we're going to we're doing the front right now. Um, there's going to be two bolts to take off if you're just doing the pads, which we are doing because these are not grooved. So um, here's the bolts. One goes down here. As you can see, I'll show you. So to loosen this, I had to hit up on my, so to loosen it, you're going to have to go up. Um, I had to break them with the hammer as usual, but either way, I got both of them out. So here's the top and then the bottom is just right down there. So I'm going to pull the caliper off I'll try to do this with one hand. All right. And we're going to set the caliper up here because you want to put stress on that wire. And here's the pads, pretty shot. So here's new pads. And when you take them out, when you put new ones on, again, make sure you match up the ones that you take off with the ones that you put on. So as you can see on this one, there's a tab. And on this one, there's a tab. So when I pull this one out, I'm gonna make sure this one's locked in actually right now because of the tab, but, um, when I pull this one out, I'm going to make sure the one with the tab goes on that side. And let's see this one. This one doesn't look like it has a tab. So I just got to try to get it out because it's in there pretty tight. There we go. Yeah, and that is flat compared to here's a new one. And here's an old one. Oh, this one actually does have a tab. So um, we'll have to make sure that the ones with the tabs see this one has a tab i'll match up those ones with that so um either way uh now that we have these out once you get your pads out you can throw the new one in after you clean the rotor and then you're going to compress the caliper with a c-clamp and an old brake pad and then once you do that you should be done make sure you took the lid off right there for your brake pads um, because that's the brake fluid and it's going to push back up once you compress this caliper you don't want that pushing or you know popping off and losing it so yeah that's how you do it from start to finish you're going to take a 9 16 socket once you get the wheel off there's my jacking point um you're going to take the two bolts off that go right here down here there's those bottom and the top and then you're going to take the caliper off Set it up here so you don't put any stress on the brake line. When you take the pad off, match it up with one of the other pads, and then put the pad back on, and you should be good. Um, before you do that, though, spray down the rotor if you don't have to switch the rotor. And if you do have to switch the rotor, there's going to be two bolts, one right here, one right here, to take off so you can pull off the rotor. Um, other than that, yeah, it shouldn't be too bad. So um, take an old pad, compress the caliper, put everything back together. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them at the bottom. Uh, I am not a mechanic. This is just me doing this myself, so I'm not liable for anything that you do. Um, <laughs> just always have to put that out there. But, um, yeah, hopefully you found this video helpful. Like, subscribe, and have a good day. Thank you.